What's going on, Dodgers Nation? Doug McCain here. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at DMAC underscore LA. For all things Dodger baseball, be sure to subscribe to the Dodgers Nation YouTube channel for the latest Dodgers news, rumors, high videos, podcasts, breakdowns, interviews, and more. You're going to find it right here. So be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and if you want to see us post even more Dodgers videos, smash that like button. And as always, on your takes down below in the comment section, will Andrew Vasquez be something, nothing, or everything for the Dodgers? this year. I want your takes down below in the comment section. And for all latest Dodgers news, head over to DodgersNation.com. So the Dodgers did make a sneaky move before September 1st. They traded for Andrew Vasquez, the left-handed reliever from the Minnesota Twins, in exchange for minor league catcher Stevie Berman. And just minutes ago, the Dodgers announced a roster move. They tweet out the Dodgers selected the contract of left-handed pitcher Andrew Vasquez and optioned right-handed pitcher Ryan Messinger to AAA. In order to make room on the 40-man roster, the Dodgers transferred left-handed pitcher Scott Alexander to the 60-day injured list. So, And it's been an unfortunate year for Scott Alexander. He hasn't pitched since July 19th this year. He's only pitched 15 and a third innings. He had a 2.93 ERA, a 12.39 whip, and he's had that left shoulder inflammation. So his year is done, as we all expected. And then you got Andrew Vasquez. So Andrew Vasquez, not very much experience at the big league level. But what I do find interesting with the Vasquez trade is they executed it on August 31st right before the deadline so he is eligible to pitch in the postseason and he was only eligible to be traded by the Twins because he wasn't on the 40-man roster all season now so he has a grand total of five innings pitched at the big league level from 2018 to 2019 and in those innings he's given up six earned runs on five hits with four walks and four hit batters with seven punch outs so Another interesting thing, too, is his pitch mix. He goes primarily with his curveball and then his changeup. So he's a curveball changeup pitcher, and we'll see. Will he find a spot in this Dodgers bullpen? I think it's more of an emergency depth piece at this point. But with the way this season's gone with injuries, you just never know. Now, he did have a solid year in AAA. He went 42 and a third innings pitch, had a 3 6 1 ERA. But the issue for him is the command. If you look at that walk rate, it's at 12.1%, also 13 hit back. So when you got that curveball, that changeup, you can't command it. You're going to hit some batters. So we'll see. Can the Dodgers find a way to optimize him, try to get him to the next level in his career? You know that's what they're going to try to do. And maybe they see something in him that can help out this bullpen on an emergency basis. But uh, I don't expect too much from him. As far as his Dodger bullpen goes, they've been fantastic since August 1st. They have the best ERA in the National League at 239 since August 1st, a 3.62 FIB. But you have have seen some chinks in the armor a little bit with Vesia giving up the bomb, Bigfoot giving up the bomb, but otherwise they've been outstanding, and you're not going to go out there and pitch scoreless frames each and every night. Vesia, Bigford, they've been massive revelations. Yesterday, Bruce Dar Gratterall, he gave up the two-run shot, but he's continuing to progress as he utilizes that slider and just continues to evolve as a pitcher. So, I think with Knable and Joe Kelly and Kenley Jansen, Blake Trinan being one of the best relievers in all of Major League Baseball, this year that this bullpen has enough pieces to get it done in October but we'll see if they go to Vasquez I mean the Dodgers are always up to something especially on these off days but we'll find out but let me know down below in the comment section will Andrew Vasquez be something nothing or everything for the Dodgers do you think it's just a depth piece at this point I want all your takes down below in the comment section my name is Doug McCain you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at DMAC underscore LA that's at DMAC underscore LA for all things Dodger baseball, be sure to subscribe to the Dodgers Nation YouTube channel. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. And if you want to see us post even more Dodgers content, smash that like button. For the latest Dodgers Nation merch, head over to gearup.la. Go get some Dodgers drips, some of the best Dodgers t-shirt designs in the game. You're going to find it right over there at www.gearup.la. Download the Dodgers Nation app. Tons of new stuff coming this month. New filters, new features. You don't want to miss that for my Android and iPhone users. For the latest Dodgers news, head over to DodgersNation.com. And as always, think blue, bleed blue, and I'm out. What's